Okay loves, welcome back to Exotic T Blog. I'm back with another video before we get into this one. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post you'll be notified. And if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. I love you. Return the subscribers, y'all should keep doing shit for me. I also love you guys too. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Azealia Banks blaming Nicki Minaj for the reason why Megan Thee Stallion and um, Ice Spice is flopping. And also, quickly subscribe to my backup channel at Exotic T Blog Reloaded. I'll be dropping a video very soon over on that channel. This channel is faulty. I'm trying to get it back by all costs, but y'all shouldn't miss out. Y'all shouldn't play and subscribe to their one link in comment section and um biography. Now, let's get into some things. Stand up with the queen of rap, Nicki Minaj. So, y'all be asking me for the link for the fan army. I told y'all to go to our Instagram, my exotic T blog. You can see the link on our um story. And also, the link, I also posted it on my community on YouTube. So, y'all should check over there. Y'all should go and vote for the queen of rap. Nicki is currently taking the lead and also surpassing Tyler. So, Barb's, y'all shouldn't sleep. Y'all should stand the fuck up. Now, moving on from there. Now, let's talk about Ice Pies in Paris Hilton. So Ice Spice and Paris Hilton linked up and I think they made a promotion post and also made a TikTok using the Barbie World song. Most fans was coming out to say, oh, Paris Hilton could um get Nicki Minaj to talk to Ice Spice and get the both of them cool again. So y'all should let me know if you love about this down below in the comment. First thing I'm going to say, Ice Spice was on the Barbie World song and wasn't that song, wasn't the song she used to talk about about Nicki Minaj. So I mean... Um, I don't think she is in the song because she want to get cool with Nicki Minaj. And also, I don't think Paris Hilton can make Nicki Minaj cool with Ice Spice. Y'all should stop. And I don't think they're cool. I don't think they're cool. They follow each other on Instagram. They do all the shit. But I don't think Nicki should fuck with Ice Spice no more. Period. But let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment. Now, moving on from that, Billboard ranks Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 War Tour as one of the best hip hop tours this decade so y'all should let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment and it's no denies that nikki single-handedly annihilated her tour nikki single-handedly annihilated her tour she literally gave what it was supposed to give and every time i look at any clip from the store it's so um good it's so funny it's so great it's so cool i mean nikki did what she was supposed to do literally no female rapper is going to top the store nikki is going to do another tour that's the second leg of the pink party too and i know it's going to be iconic so i mean people are coming out here to give nikki minaj of flowers per um rappers with the most number one debut on the billboard hop 100 charts drake 9 travis scott 2 future 3 young thug 2 and nikki minaj has 2 period nikki the only female rapper on this list and y'all going to say oh cardi b has five number ones and nikki minaj has three but nikki has debuted two times nikki has two times debuted on the charts so get that stuck on your head now let's get into this a known has been flopping currently in broke ugly and bitter towards Nicki Minaj and almost everybody in the whole world Azalea flop came out here talking her shit was out here blaming Nicki Minaj for um, making Latho and Ice Spice beef which I found corny I mean I always found Azalea Banks corny also came out here talking that um Nikki made Ice Spice and Megan Thee Stallion album at workshop because they used the same photographer that took Nicki Minaj's pregnant um photos. They said um she said that Nikki told him to give them the worst shots. So y'all should let me know if you about this down below. Just like I introduced the known has been as Liam Tanks or as Liam Banks, whatever the fuck is her name i think that girl beat her to the whole industry because she's flopping she has no career the only career she has is this instagram and those ninjas she be humping her no shade azealia banks is nothing and everybody was coming out to say oh yeah i understand azealia banks points Nicki minaj is bitter towards this girl so y'all should shut the fuck up i mean the the media always tries to take Nicki minaj down the media always wants to take Nicki minaj down they always want to say oh Nicki minaj the villain Nicki minaj jealous of this girls but Nicki can't be jealous of this girls and azealia banks also pointed out that Nicki successfully made Ice Spice and um, Lado 
going through a beef because she was trying to protect as part as the queen of rap so yeah i'll show you know feel about this down below in the comment azealia banks is certified has been her time is over literally she didn't even have close to like three minutes in the industry she flopped nobody knows her she doesn't even have a hit song Tell me one Azealia Banks hit song. Tell me one of Azealia Banks songs you can remember in 2024. Like, put it down below in the comment section because nobody knows that girl. She's nothing. She always out here beat her towards female rap. And she wants the Nicki Minaj response. But guess what? Onika is going to pay her dumbass floppiness. Dust. Nicki, give this girl dust. She ain't getting no clouds from you. No shade. She ain't getting no clouds from you. So y'all should let me know if you about that has been down below in the comments. Soon to be called and has been Cardi B aka the industrial plastic bag. The face changing alien is now getting clowned by fans on social media. She, I mean she always get clowned. She always get clowned. But this particular post been trending saying Cardi B flopping and the general public dragging her. They finally woke up and saw how much of a terrible rapper she is compared to Nikki. I used to pray for a time like this. So y'all should let me know if you about this down below in the comment. And sadly Cardi B is flopping. Like girl, what's happening to your career? I thought you said your records live in the top 10. But today she ain't charting. She doesn't chart. The new collaboration Rough for the Night is predicted to bumble on the charts. I mean, she is doing the lotto numbers. She is doing typical lotto numbers. And Cardi B, it's time for you to realize that your career is over. Your career is over. She be out here saying, oh, somebody's washed. But she the washed one and she don't even know that. She be calling somebody washed old arms. But you the flopping one. You the washed one. Nobody cares about you. So, I mean, girl, tell me about it. But anyways, I always saw Cardi B as a terrible person. Being the fact that she always come out here to curse out her fiends and she doesn't write her rap. She be coming out here to brag. In uh, her recent video she posted on her Instagram, she told um Shakari that, Oh, Shakiri passion is to run while her passion is to rap. Girl, you don't freaking rap. Sorry, I don't, I don't take you as a serious rapper. On top of that, she posted on her broadcast on Instagram saying, I promise y'all I ain't going to curse people out no more. But I had fun though. Love you to argue low. So she's talking to her fans because um only delusional people can be on deck trying to broadcast or whatever. But at the end of the day, y'all know this girl is lying. She's still going to curse you put out. Once she flop, y'all call her out and say, Cardi B, please drop the album. You flopping now. We don't want to get, we don't want to get clowned by the barbs and the general public. Cardi B starting, she's going to start cursing y'all out. And if y'all try her, she's going to go on your page, take out your picture, post it on her Twitter page, curse you out, curse your mother, curse your father, curse everybody she sees on your page so i'm going to advise the delusion again just like the way she was advising y'all on love better pull your page on private mood before you go on that girl because she's going to go there and trust me she's going to get your picture post it and clown you she always does that that is why I say she is a terrible person. No shade. She is the worst um, rapper or the worst Mexican woman ever. No shade. No shade to her. I don't think um, she's nice at all. And people are going to be like, oh, Cardi B is one of the sweetest person. Like, this girl is so annoying. And she be out just saying, leave me alone. Leave me alone. We leaving you alone, you flopping. Your fans are leaving you alone, you flopping. So, I mean, girl, tell me about it. But uh, Cardi B is a funny clown, no shade. But you guys should let me know if you about it down below. Do y'all think she's going to stop cursing people? Let me know. Joe Biden now co-signs JT's mixtape Citizen The Rella listening. Um, he said JT's project is a hard one. So y'all should let me know if you about this down below in the comment. And honestly, uh, we don't have to lie. JT out here doing the most with Sister Cinderella. She has more debuts on iTunes, Mother Megan Stallion album. So she doing the most. And she, sorry, on Apple. Apple Music United States charts. I feel like JT has more potential to get this mixtape doing over 20k first week. But uh, P 
people um that was supporting her mostly was the barbs and the barbs don't like her no more i'm going to say few of the barbs because i still like jt and also um some people was coming out to say jt ain't getting pushed like that i don't think she's getting more pushed like megan stallion and a lot of a lot of be getting pushed but she's still flopping like ice spice and sexy red i don't think jt getting that kind of push but y'all should let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment now moving on from there I Spice and Central C did it first. It's predicted to debut at the 50 on this week Billboard 200 Global Charts. So y'all should let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment. Could I Spice have a global hit on her Pam? Let me know. Let me know because um she's debuting top 50, meaning that people really checking with the song. And I'm going to say this: the song in that great, but. Um, I think the PR stunt with Sandra C and his whole girlfriend Madeline and Ice Pies really got people listening to the song. This is a good PR stunt. Not coming out to call out a podcaster um for putting out his own opinion and y'all laughing and mumbling behind the scenes, but y'all trying to form beef online. Not not doing that. Cardi B was so slow. But anyways, the PR stunt helped. She didn't do 143k streams on its first day with the song no shade moving on from there now to chop hoe you need to drop hoe from this whole rap shit so um allegedly Latha wants to do her album solely her album she announced that's coming august she doesn't want to have no collaboration on this um mulatto you need to listen to me right now do not do that you're going to do 5k first week stop it you can never sell no shade do not do that. Listen to me now, mulatto. I know you think you're the shit, but you're not even the far. She thinks she's the queen bee of rap. She's nothing. Do not try that little stunt you're trying to pull off you doing your album alone. Do not. You ain't Doja Cat. You ain't Nicki Minaj. You ain't Beyonce. You ain't definitely Adele. You can never. So listen to me. Get all them collaboration packed and loaded on that album. No shade. Sexy Red tweeted, um, Sexy Red for president. And y'all know how, um, how, um, this Kamala, and she been tweeting this stuff for a very long time, but, like, she decided to tweet again. And the fan blasted her, and the fan said, um, Sexy Red for the P word. Y'all should let me know if you about this down below in the comment. First things first, I think Sexy Red was shitted one. No shade. I'm not going to lie. This was, um, the best response. But at the same time, Sexy Red always goofy y'all shouldn't take it serious y'all shouldn't take it serious but like then again it's twitter so what do you expect what do you expect and no shade i don't think sexy red can be no president of no world she's going to be the president of them hoochie daddies Ooh. I'm, I might be up to something. I might be up to something. But anyways, this was crazy. Y'all should get along on social media. I mean, the Twitter stands. Y'all crazy as hell. Y'all crazy. Y'all be dragging these celebrities like y'all know them like in reality. Y'all be dragging them like y'all know them in reality. But like then again, this was so mean and funny. Y'all shouldn't say things like this. No, y'all shouldn't say things like this. I'm actually feeling bad for Sexy Red. But moving on from there, apparently Chloe Bailey was originally featured on the um I Might by Sexy Red and um she wasn't able to be on the song because Sexy Red replaced her with Summer Walker. So y'all should let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment and I just listened to her verse. She ate it up and I think um Summer Walker was slower on that song. I don't think Summer Walker would have had the best um version. But I think Sexy Red cool with Summer Walker though. So that is why she decided to have her friend and her sis on the song. But she could still put out the Clovis version because that was fire. But allegedly it's leaked because i listened to it on youtube and i think um it's also on twitter so y'all should let me know how you feel about these topics down below don't forget to subscribe to my second channel why is that blog reloaded and i'll talk to y'all in the next video and i see you thanks for watching hit that thumbs up b